Wagwan Massive, I'm Fziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in this video, I'm going to be sharing one of my secret recipes how to make beetroot porridge. I bet you never hear about that one day yet, so please ensure that you stay tuned. To make the beetroot porridge, we're going to be using the beetroot, of course, so I'm using three of these. We're going to do our pre spicing, and that includes using cinnamon leaves we'll be using coconut milk this was freshly done but if you don't have or if you don't want to grate the coconut then you can go ahead and use your package or your tin coconut milk all right and to then we will be using flour as a thickener again if you don't want to use flour you can go ahead and use oats but just be mindful that oats is going to take away some of the flavor from your beetroot so i prefer to use the flour or you can also use cornstarch now to sweeten i'll be using some brown sugar and to spice i'll be using my favorite benjamin's vanilla condensed milk nutmeg and then for my decorating i'll be using ashwagandha and some moringa powder i don't have the moringa powder right now but i'm going to be using that for decoration so let's get right into making beetroot porridge so we're gonna add the coconut milk to the pot and allow this to boil next we're gonna add our cinnamon leaves we're gonna partially cover the pot so that the coconut milk doesn't boil over now go ahead and mix the flour what i am doing is to spice up the flour with some nutmeg and i added a cup of water so this is about three quarter cups of flour and water just enough to turn the flour into a thick paste Next, I also add some vanilla again to spice up the flour before I add it to the pot. And here I am just adding the flour to the coconut milk to thicken it. Again, remember that you can use your cornstarch or your oats if you don't want to use the flour. it was not thick enough so I'm adding just a little bit more flour to the coconut milk to get it to the right consistency I don't want my porridge to be watery and now I go ahead and blend the beetroot when the flour and the coconut milk have almost been cooked then go ahead and add the beetroot next i pour this into the pot and i stir it consistently to prevent any kind of lumping and these are the particles that you see in the pot are the coconut cream as they curdle after i added the beetroot i allowed it to cook for five minutes because i didn't want to lose the color so now there are two ways that you can do this you can either put in your beetroot first or you can put in your coconut milk and your flour first as i've done here so i'm just using this method because i don't want to lose the color of the beetroot porridge is now cooked and so i am spicing it up with some sugar salt condensed milk nutmeg and vanilla And I give that a quick stir, stirring everything, make sure everything is well combined. And that's basically it, beetroot porridge. Guys, you must try this, it is so nice. Now we've come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and please remember, subscribe to my channel now. And if you like what I just shared, make sure you share it with your friends and your family. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.